Hello, Donna Cato here. Welcome to my studio. Welcome to my channel. Now, this tutorial is to help you fill out the alphabet. Okay, so you've already done R and N, M that turned into W, S, B, and D. Today we're going to tackle O, C, Q, G, U, and J. Are you ready? Let's get started. All right, continuing with our alphabet uh, today, I'm going to do O and C, Q and G. These letters are quite similar. And then I'm going to break, and I'm going to do U and J, because you can't have Q without the U. Okay. So these are two slabs that I put together, and they are seven layers through the thickest setting of the pasta machine thick. And I did sheet them as well as I could, like so. And let us start with the letter O. Now, I have a cutter here. It measures, oh, 15 sixteenths of an inch across. Here comes Dusty Boy. Dusty, what do you want? Mommy's working. So, oh, it's so easy. Okay, I'm just going to take and just take some repel gel and put it right there on the cutter. Put this in the middle and then cut straight through. You know, I think it helps if I just kind of wiggle it like so and maybe turn it, turn it as I'm cutting. And I really think that's gonna help me get all this clay out of this cutter. What do you think? I think I'm right. Put it all the way through. I went all the way through, yay me. All right, so let's lift that up and let me just push the clay out. And you know what? It is easier. So try that. Try just what, wiggling it a bit. And I think it's going to be easier to, um, to get out. All right, so I'm going to reduce this a little bit. You know what? Ideally, I would reduce this so that this and the wrap equal that hole. That's a goal. <laughs> it's a goal. Not sure I'm going to make it, but, you know, we're going to try. Going to try. Let me see. Look, see, there's some play there. So what I'm going to do, trim, wrap. Smooth that. I'm not going to do it because I'm I'm just showing you. <laughs> I'm actually going to pull it out and make a C. <laughs> and then, if necessary, just kind of stretch the opening a little bit. Like so. Then, drop the O in the hole. Okay. Yeah, I think we can do that. Just going to try to get it in there. And, you know, if you're having a hard time with it sticking and stuff, you can just do this. <laughs> you can do this. Just cut, open it, put the O in, and then just close the clay around it. And you know what? Look, we have an O. We have a zero or an O, all right? 
So then it's just a matter of tightening it up and then trimming it away. You never know. Now, how do we make a C? Well, I just dropped my blade. C, let's just say C is like right there. Just gonna try to remove this white clay. Do my best. If I were making a C, I wouldn't have wrapped it all the way around. If I were making a C, well, I would have stopped about right there. Okay. I'm going to clean this up a bit. Now there's a C. Now let's take some black clay. This has been rolled through setting number three as well. Fill in the space like so, just like that. And now put the C and set the C right there in the hole. And that looks good. So now I have a C. All right. So I think that, that that's really simple. These are very simple to make this way. Okay, so let's move on to the letter Q. Okay, so what is a Q? A Q, I'm going to use the same circle cutter. Doink. Dusty is right here with me. Okay, so that is a Q circle with just this little piece sticking in, right? All right, so what we're actually gonna start to do is I'm just gonna cut here. Right there. And pull half away. And now I can see the mark where that white clay should go to go like right there. So let's just insert a piece at that point. And it's hard to see because. Okay, so that's where it's going to go. Right there. And right there. You know, the white is very soft and um, that is why it's leaving traces of itself behind. Ugh. Come on, you can move. Good clay. Now let's fill in like so. Da, 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 da. Oh, I'm forever blown. Okay, now we're going to put them together again, like so. Like so. Okay. Now I'm going to take the circle cutter. And I'm going to do the old repel gel thing. Let's put repel gel on the circle cutter. Just like that. Good deal. All right. Now find where you want to put this. Just like that. Okay. Actually. 
actually I'm going to move it up just a tad. Ready? Ready, Freddy. And let's cut. I'm going to do the, that and I'm even going to twist. See how I'm, I'm rocking? And then I take and I twist. Rock and twist. And I think it's going to be a bit easier to get the cutter out. I hope. Well, see, I twisted it. Come on, get out. Good deal. Now, I'm just going to push it out like so. Okay. Good deal. Now, it did get twisted. See that? So, of course, I have to make it straight again. It's not too difficult because I can so clearly see how I twisted it and in what direction. Right? So, just straighten it out if it gets twisted. But I must tell you, it was quite a bit easier to get the clay out because I had jiggled it, moved it, and done that whole boogie. All right. Okay, now, I am going to wrap this whole thing and white. I think I'm going to start right there. I want to know where that is. That part of the queue. So I'll be able to see because I'll know that that's where the seam is. All right, now it's a matter of matching this up with that. So I am, let's see, I think maybe the easiest way might actually be this. Mm. Actually, no, I'm going to do this. Cut straight down, open it up. And I know this is going to be too small. I will stretch it out. But you see, I'm not doing it stretching right in this area. So let's see. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Now, I do have some I have to fill in there, don't I? Yes, indeed, I do. Okay. So, let's see if I can just do it using one of these. Now, it could be thicker. Obviously, that is thicker than this thickness. See, there's plenty of play. So, I'm going to take this and I'm going to roll it through. Oh, let's see what setting number two does. Let's see. It is thicker. Uh, I think I'm going to go setting number one. Make it thicker yet. Take a cut. Push it in and close, push it in and close. And here, because it's not going to be absolutely perfect, there may be just a tiny little right there at that point. Could be, could be. But that is how I construct a cue. 
All right. Then, just like the, the others I've done, it's a matter of trimming away. Why am I drifting? I'm drifting because I'm sitting too far away from the table. Arg. Okay. There we go. There we go. And that looks like a pretty good cue to me. Look on the other side see about trimming this side. So I have a nice square. Very good. Okay. I think that looks really good, as a matter of fact. So I will reduce these, both of them, the O and the Q. I have to make another slab for the U and the J, but that I will do, and I will be back. O became a C, and here's the Q. All right, it's time for the U and the J. So I have this nice little oval cutter, and it measures one inch. So what I'm going to do is use it. I have to take my poly paste and put it over this guy. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good going. There we go. Okay. Now I'm finding the center of the block approximately. I'm just going to cut straight down. We're making a U, we're making a J. Okay, so I'm just wiggling this all the way down. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Did I hit the bottom? Maybe. Maybe, let's check. Nope, did not. Push it further. Still haven't hit the bottom. How about that? I could take a tile. I've got a tile here and push against it with the tile. Oops. Well, definitely I cut through. It likes that. Yep. Did it. Did it. Let me open this up a tad and push it out. All right. Now I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to do my best and try to work that clay out of the cutter. Come on, you can do it. It's kind of stuck in there. But it's coming out, see? Slowly and unfortunately, I can't push with my thumb. It would be easier if I could just push with my thumb. But I have to push with whatever finger's gonna fit in there. Okay, here we go. Just be patient. You'll get it. Doink. Uh, slowly it's coming out. Let me see if I can jiggle it a bit. I think jiggling probably isn't going to hurt it. Oh, finally. Finally it gave up. Let's see about flattening that. Okay. Okay, that looks pretty good. I was able to sort of straighten it more or less. 
Okay. Okay, so for a U, all I'm going to do is, well, let's just see. The letter should be an inch from top to bottom. I may actually have to square this off. It might be just a little small, actually. Let me see. I hadn't really considered that it would be a little, a bit small. Well, let's see. When I say small, I really mean short. Now what happens there if I wrap like so? Now how tall are you? Well, one inch is at the very top of the black clay and the very bottom of the white. So here I have a little bit of adjusting to do. And I think what I'm going to do, I think actually the easiest way is to cut here. And I'm going to insert some black. to lengthen and elongate the oval. Because the letter is a bit short. Okay. Now here's where careful trimming, well, trimming on the side. Now, let's put you back together again. Actually, I think it was this way. And I want to smooth this area as much as possible. Adding this piece in the middle is actually easier, isn't it? It's just easier than recutting or finding another cutter that's bigger and, you know, all that jazz. It just means that this area right here I'm going to have to absolutely make sure that everything's blended well, that all the pieces, the ones I inserted, have been blended into the original oval cutout. And that looks good. Okay, so now we're going to wrap again. I'm going to go all the way up there, wrap all the way down here. Like so, cut. Now let's measure. Now let's measure. I don't know how I, you know, I just had my ruler. How in the world does one person look? Here, I found it. Okay, so one inch from the bottom is about to there. That is one inch, just like that. So let's just cut, cut it off. Now there's a U, all right? There's a U. No. If we're making a J, what are we going to do? Well, of course, we're going to cut this much off. We're going to take a bit of this black 
slide it in to fill up the space. And proceed. Now we have a J. Okay. Let's pack the J. I still don't have <laughs> I still don't have a U. I'll have to make myself a U later. Okay, so to fill it in, you know what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to cut right there straight down and I'm gonna cut this straight down. Okay. Now I'm gonna take my tool because you know I think I cut absolutely straight down, probably not. So I want to straighten out right here and make sure that I eliminate any little bumps or lumps or whatever. I want this to be nice and smooth and flat, both sides, like so. Okay, and that actually looks pretty darn good. I tore my paper. There. Now it's just a matter of filling that space. And you know what? This should fill it nicely. I cut it up, but I just turned it over. Do the flat side. Make a nice clean cut. easier if I take it out and just do it and it fits perfectly see just like a puzzle these puzzle pieces don't have to worry about that and now let's take and fit this around again there is a J Ta-da, a J. Let me just quickly square it off. All right, so I already reduced the C. I have to reduce the Q and the J, and then I will be back. Okie dokie. <clears throat> so friends, this is a little insert because I forgot the letter G. See, I was going to do, I don't even know where my list is. Here's my list. O, C, Q, G, U, and J. I did everything but the G. Mm -hmm, I did. So I'm going to do the G because it's not going to take long. Things were going along so swimmingly. And look, I forgot the G. <laughs> okay, so I made my slab. Mm -hmm, nice looking slab. I've got my cutter that measures almost one inch, which is the same one I used for O and C and Q. Now I have to put some of that repel gel on it. Okay, and I don't really worry about having too much of this on. 
It's kind of worse if you have too little. Okay, so just spread it around there. And wipe your hands. And let's just center it on our slab like that. Okay. Now, as I cut, I am going to do the wiggling, twisting, wiggling, twisting, you know, of this action. Because I do believe it's going to help me get it out. There you go. And get the clay out. I think it's going to help me. <laughs> I hope it's, it's just slipping around. Now, you know, once upon a time... I made a clay pusher for this one, for this little tiny guy. So what basically that was, was just scrap clay that I baked, that I pushed in and then I removed and I just kind of, you know, I sanded it a bit and it became a clay pusher <laughs> and it's around here somewhere. Okay. All right. So, now, let's take this guy. And, you know, I'm going to make him a little bit smaller so that when I wrap the clay around him, it's going to be a little easier to get him to fit in. Because if I take this and I wrap it with the white, I'm going to have to stretch this out a lot to make it fit again. I'm going to have to stretch it out. It's just that maybe I won't have to stretch it out as much. Now, when we make a G, we have this little uh, right there, right? I'm not going to do that part. It's just going to look like a, a C that comes up a little further with this little arm that goes in, and that's it. All right, so let's just cut that. Let me cut it like, oh, about right here looks good to me I could be wrong it wouldn't be the first time now I'm going to take my white and if I'm really really wrong then I'll just shoot it again okay so here we go it's just gonna stick into the G like so, like that. And now I have to fill that space, don't I? So this is also rolled through setting three, it fills the space. Like so. Now let's put the pieces back together. Doink. like that. Now I'm going to take the white and I'm going to wrap it around. Do I want to wrap it that far? Actually, I'm going to start it right here, right at that edge. See that edge? and wrap it around. And perhaps I should have drawn the G first. I'm living dangerous today. And let me cut right there. Oops, it's a little bit crooked. I'm gonna straighten it out. Like so, living dangerous on a Friday. Today's Friday. G. Now we're just gonna fill this space. Boink. Mm -hmm. Okay, that looks pretty darn good.
pull it out. Kind of bring everything together. So there's the G. Okay. There is the G. Now, it's simply a matter of taking this and stretching it out like so. Just to make it a bit larger. I can make it large enough that this will fit in. It's going to be quite a bit thinner though. So if I want to maintain the thickness, then you've seen us do this before, right? Let's say this fits right here. Does that look good? Let me just figure out where the G and the block. And it's not critical because there's plenty of black clay around it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut in the black area. so that when I add the excess clay, I won't be pushing black clay up against white. All right, so now we open. And, you know, I'm gonna pivot this just a little bit more, like so, all right. And so when I swing this back around, this is what I have to fill. And it will be black clay next to black clay. Turn it around, take a look. Perfect. Okay, so I need to roll, re-roll some of this because I don't have anything that thick. Let's start with setting number one. Oh, number zero. The thickest. So here we have the thickest. Let's see. Okay, there's one. And I want it to really just get right up there next to that black clay. Boom, trim. Now what have we got to fill left? And you know what? I can just close it that way, like so, see? And here we have the letter G. Here we have the letter G. So let's trim this. But I would really like to trim it. See, it's kind of crooked in the block. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my ruled, my ruled ruler. And I'm just going to draw that square around it now. And I've lined up this white line with one of the lines on my ruler, like so. So there's the first line. And let's line the bottom, like so. And now I'm going to make a line that's perpendicular to the first two lines. Like so. I love this ruler because of these lines on it. Okay. And then following the same strategy. I will indicate the fourth side. So that's it. Okay, so let's cut. And just one more cut, and we have a G. Yay. I almost forgot the G. Sorry. Sorry, but I remembered the G. And there we have the letter G. So this will be reduced, and it will join its pals C. Q. J. 
And O and U were actually preliminary kind of, they were part of the demo. The O turned into a C, the U turned into a J, the Q, well, I think it stood by itself. And now we have a G. Let me reduce. I'll be back. Okay, so here is the C and a greatly reduced C and the Q, somewhat reduced Q, and a J. Here's a little J. Okay, so let me think about whether I need to do any more letters or whether what I've done with you so far is enough for you to figure out the rest of the letters. So, um... There may be more alphabet coming, but I don't know yet. In the meantime, thank you for watching. I hope this clears up some of the confusion about making some of these letters. And uh, I guess that's it for now. Bye. So here we are in this class. We started with O, actually, turned it into a C. Then, I hope I'm recalling correctly. Then we made the Q, then I forgot to make the G, and I made a U, because you need a U if you got a Q. I turned the U into a J, that's why we have no U. And then because I completely forgot, I had to shoot an insert of the G. We are coming to the end of our alphabet. I really have to take a look and make sure there isn't anything else I should do. Not sure I should do E and F. Not sure you need to see Z. I'm going to think about that for a little while. And if necessary, I'm going to shoot it for you. So in the meantime, um, I hope you enjoy making letters. You've got R and N, M and W. You have B and D and you have S. So these should help fill out your alphabet. So until we meet again, I'm Donna Cato. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.